I'm Dana Roberts, a master's student at Penn State University, and Dr. Shelby Flesher is my advisor. With funding from the SCRI, I am researching the interactions between the bacteria Erwinia tracheophila and the gut of the cucumber beetles. Erwinia tracheophila causes bacterial wilt, a devastating disease of cucurbit crops in the central and eastern parts of the United States. The disease is spread to cucurbit plants when excrement from infected beetles comes in contact with floral nectaries or through feeding wounds on the plant. Since the disease-causing bacteria passes through the beetle's gut before it infects the plants, we'd like to understand if any interactions between the bacteria and the beetle's gut influence the bacteria's transmission to plants. To determine if any interactions occur, we will compare differences in plant growth between two treatments. Treatment 1. To begin my experiment, I raised cucumber beetles so I can be sure their guts have never come in contact with the Erwinia tracheophila bacteria. I collect the eggs laid by adult cucumber beetles and transplant them into a separate bin to develop into larvae. We plant squash seedlings in the larval bins to feed our beetle larvae until they develop into cucumber beetles that have never been in contact with Erwinia tracheophila. Once our cucumber beetles are fully grown, I feed them squash leaves infected with a specific strain of Erwinia tracheophila. I then collect the beetle excrement, which now contains Erwinia tracheophila bacteria that has passed through a beetle's gut. Using their infected excrement, I create a suspension and inject the Erwinia tracheophila into the plant, effectively inoculating them. Treatment 2 For the second treatment, I inoculate another set of plants with Erwinia tracheophila taken directly from a bacterial colony that is not passed through a beetle's gut. I ensure that identical concentrations of Erwinia tracheophila are applied in both treatments. After both treatments have been applied, I sit back and watch the plants grow. I observe them to monitor differences in plant growth, number of leaves, percentage of wilt, and days to symptom development. This research has potential to offer us some great insights about cucumber beetles and about bacterial wilt. I'm really excited to find out how our plants will develop and whether or not passage of the bacteria through a beetle's gut impacts how the bacteria infects a plant. Hopefully, we'll be able to tell you something fascinating after the season when we will return with our results.